Just where is the vehicle that was used by gunmen who killed Kabete member of parliament George Mushai yesterday? That is the big question in the minds of detectives tasked with pursuing the culprits in the cold-blooded murder that has shocked the nation. More than 40 hours since the killing of Mushai, his two bodyguards and driver, the saloon car which bore Ugandan number plates, is yet to be traced. Sources now say detectives have been dispatched to Uganda in search of answers as to the ownership of the mystery car. At the same time, Nicholas Kamwende, the head of the Directorate of Criminal Investigation in Nairobi, has confirmed the retrieval of CCTV footage recorded at the scene along Kenyatta Avenue. The footage was provided by the Nairobi County Government, which last year installed a surveillance system worth more than 500 million shillings. Kamwende has also confirmed that they have interrogated five people, among them a security officer at the Galileo Lounge in Westlands, where the late Mushai and his family spent some time before they were tracked down and shot dead. Police are, however, looking for a newspaper vendor who tried to sell the day's papers to the MP before the gunman arrived. Detectives are calling on the vendor to show up and provide any information that could lead to the arrest of culprits. Come on, sorry, Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nkaiseri said the gangland-style killing had all the hallmarks of a well-executed plan. This is actually, in, as we look at the leads, looks like it's a, a planned assassination. But we, I leave it at that. I will allow the security apparatus to um, take uh, responsibility. Mm -hmm. And soon I will, we will be able to tell you the outcome. Police are retracing the MP's last moments as they search for clues into the murder of a man who had expressed fear for his life about a week ago, even as his family demands for answers. We believe that once they committed the crime that they committed, they just don't disappear into thin air. They should be apprehended, they are somewhere, and they should be found. Oh, Alex Kubasu, Sunday Live.